Hi, my name is Rachel Young, and today I'm going to be talking about the Aurora Borealis, a.k.a. Northern Lights. They can be different colors, such as green, blue, red, violet. Usually you'll see green, and some blue, and some red. It might be some other colors, too. So you're going to see the Aurora Borealis at the north and south poles around that area. I think it's odd that usually you'll see it in a circular type of area. It kind of reminds me of the opening to the hollow earth, how it's a big, giant, circular area. There is a lot to this that I think is going on, but they don't want to tell us what's going on about it because they want to keep it covered up. I don't know if it has anything to do with the reptilians or not or what or... If the people inside the earth just want to be not seen or something. But I really like this picture right here because it shows the different colors and the circularness of it. I feel like that the lights are coming from the inside of the earth. Supposedly there's a sun inside the earth. It's not exactly the same kind of sun as the our sun on the outside it's more of a like a electric sun or magnetic sun or something like that you'll hear it called the smoky sun inside the earth they say supposedly when you're in the very middle of the earth it's like a giant library to where all the information and knowledge of the past of the history of Earth is inside, in the middle of the Earth. So maybe the center of the Earth is some type of wormhole or portal. And once you're inside of the Earth, in the middle part or around that area, you become into another dimension of the fifth type dimension to where everything vibrates faster what I mean is that the atoms and the energy and the atmosphere and everything moves at a very fast pace. I think everything that, well not everything, but most of the stuff on the outside of the earth is vibrating at a third dimensional frequency, which is more slower and it's more toward aggressiveness and negative emotions. I really like this picture right here because... If the center of the Earth is some type of black hole, then maybe when you're in the center of the Earth, you can go into other realms, other planets, or something like that. But the media definitely does not want us to know about any of this stuff. Maybe this is a better depiction of the flat Earth theory. Imagining the flat part being bigger, though, and we're on the outside of that flat part. Maybe that's more like what the Earth is kind of like, you know, sort of way, some strange way. But I think Admiral Byrd and probably other people went down inside the Earth back in the early 1900s, 1930s, or maybe earlier than that. I think they probably did go down in there and find aliens and find vegetation and plant life and all kinds of stuff down there. But I guess they're not allowed to tell anybody, which is stupid. I think we should all be able to know about this. It shouldn't be no secret about this type of thing. This should be something that everybody should know. But sadly, a lot of people probably don't know about this type of stuff. If you add my birth date together, September 12th, 1988, you'll get the number 11, which is a master number that is highly intuitive, and I feel that I am a person that is very highly intuitive, that I feel like I'm right about this. You know, I could be wrong about this, but I really feel like there is something to this. Like, this isn't something we should just brush off as nothing. I feel like... There are a lot of people that do know about this, but they don't want the rest of the people to know. And I feel like we all need to know about it. Supposedly, when you live in the fifth dimensional state inside of the Earth, you live longer, 
Supposedly that's where the giants come from, is inside of the earth, because everything inside of the earth is giant. The plants are giant, the people are giant, the animals are giant. Everything inside of the earth is giant. I guess because it's so healthy, because it's in a fifth dimensional state. And the energy vibrates very fast down there. Supposedly there's cities inside of the earth made out of crystals that emit some type of light. Now I'm not sure if these crystals are put there because of reptilians. Well I know the reptilians they're from draconians. I don't know if the draconians put the crystals there to seed the earth or not. That is something I'll probably be trying to figure out for a long period of time. But I do feel like somehow crystals have some type of power, which is very weird, and it's hard to figure out how can a crystal have power like this. But I'm just going to try to keep an open mind with this crystal type of stuff. But yes, I do feel like the lights from the Aurora Borealis are the lights coming from inside of the Earth, from the central smoky sun, and maybe the crystal lights shining through the outside of the Earth. And yes, I do feel like there are cave systems from around the world that do also go down inside to these cities, not just at the North and South Poles. I would like to go down there and explore, but I would be afraid that maybe some type of reptilian would be down there. Maybe it's better for me to not go down there, and maybe I should just create a fifth dimension for me to create a fifth dimensional realm here on Earth in my room or whatever just make the whole entire earth on the top as a fifth dimensional state of energy like on the inside which is not a bad thing it's a good thing because wouldn't you want to live for a long time being healthy and being happy and not having to use money the people that live inside the earth i don't think that they use money but just look into this stuff more i might be wrong i might be right who knows, but just keep searching for yourself. Goodbye.